Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison, it is nice to meet you. Welcome back to another law school week in my life. This vlog is going to be a law school week in my life. I literally just said that. This is going to be a busy week. I have had a not so productive weekend. It's okay, it's Tuesday, I'm ready to get moving. I have some things I have to do today and I'm in an amazing mood if you could tell. I've been singing all morning. I've been dancing around like a certified psychopath this morning. I am just in a really good mood so I'm ready to have a good week and I hope you all are ready to watch and I hope you guys are having a great week. But before we get into the video, you should subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. It means so much to me when you subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at madison.rector if you'd like and turn on my post notifications as well. You should totally turn on my post notifications. Turn them on. Why wouldn't you? I actually don't think I have any post notifications for any YouTubers turned on, but you should turn on mine. I didn't vlog yesterday. Monday was a tough one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. But it's Tuesday today, and I'm ready to vlog. We are going to have a very good day today. I have Krim in three minutes. We actually have a guest speaker today, which is the equivalent of having a sub in middle school. I'm just kidding. The guest speakers they bring into law school are actually interesting. Guys, I am wearing shorts today because today is the first day. It is going to be 70 plus degrees outside and I usually really like cold weather not this year this year I've been waiting for warm weather so I'm finally you know the first day it said 70 plus I'm breaking out the shorts I got a tank top on so we are just living our best life so today in between my classes I'm going to make it a priority to study and do my work outside which I'm really excited about I gotta hop on this class I will chat with this camera all day and miss my classes truly so I need to hop on I will let you know how it goes and yeah really excited for this weekly video in case you guys were wondering why I'm so crazy this it's this this is why I'm a certified nutcase this morning so there's the answer to your question Okay everyone, it is 1.31 now. I have been working on researching for my crim law paper ever since I got out of Civ Pro, so for about two hours now, and I've made really good progress. So I'm just gonna kinda explain to you my writing process, what I usually do, what my paper's about. So let us do that. And my paper is about racial biases in jury selections. So it's definitely, I was really worried that I was gonna have a hard time making this a 10 to 15 page paper, and it's gonna be really easy. I will basically give you an outline of what my paper is gonna be. Pretty much my goals of the paper is to explain the history of the Batson challenge. So peremptory challenges are something that can be used by prosecutors and defense attorneys during the jury selection process to pretty much dismiss potential jurors for any reason. They never had to give a reason before. They could dismiss them for literally anything. And as you can imagine, this led to a lot of problems. A lot of black defendants awaiting trial and during the jury selection process, all of the potential black jurors would be struck by the prosecution, leading to an entire white jury trying the black defendant, even in communities where it was predominantly black. So it's not even representative of the population. So. That obviously led to a lot of issues. So then there was the creation of the Batson challenge where the defendant can move to say, hey, you you totally dismissed that potential juror on the basis of race. They have to prove a lot of things. It's actually kind of hard to prove because if they make the case that it seemed racially motivated, the prosecutor can give a race neutral reason why they dismiss the juror and the strike can be upheld. So really a lot of debates regarding the efficiency of these bats and challenges. That's kind of what my paper is going to be about. Whenever I first start researching, I just pull up the case on Westlaw. So I pulled up Batson v. Kentucky. I was just reading through it. Cases that were hyperlinked that they cited, I would just pull up in a new tab and I'll go through those later. 
So I did that and I found some key cases. So I think the main cases I'm going to be talking about are the Strouder case, the Batson case, and the Swain case. I decided for how I'm going to lay it out is at the beginning it's going to be pre-Batson. I'm going to talk about the goals of peremptory challenges, constitutional right to a trial by jury, then I'm going to go into the Swain case which was pre-Batson. So I will talk about the Batson case, the holding, the rationale, how it gives kind of a new test and I'm also going to be talking about some of the expansions that have been placed on it by the court like now it applies in civil and criminal litigation it applies to gender so you can't dismiss on the basis of gender then I'm going to kind of go into a case analysis of the Flowers v Mississippi case now this is one I have to dive into but I have read it and it's really 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 sad to read. I'm gonna go into that case read it all kind of determine is the Batson challenge which was supposed to stop this discriminatory practice in jury selections hasn't really done that because it doesn't appear like it has. So I'm gonna kind of look at the efficiency of Batson through that lens. Then at the end, I'm gonna talk about some common solutions that have been proposed to increase the efficiency of Batson. Some people are saying we need to completely get rid of peremptory strikes and expand for cause challenges. Some people are saying there need to be blind peremptory strikes where lawyers can only strike based off of jurors' written responses and don't even get to see them face to face. So I'm kind of going to be talking about the future um, towards the end of my paper before my conclusion. So that's like my whole paper right now. Let me show you what I've been doing the past couple hours. This right here is my outline. I never used to outline papers in undergrad. Now I'm in law school. I outline. This is my outline. Very, very, very bare. And it'll probably stay like this. I just kind of wanted, you know, some direction. This is all my notes from the cases that I've read over the past two hours. So I have my bats and case notes. I've talked about Swain here. Here I actually looked into some secondary sources. Secondary sources are not cases. A lot of them are law review articles actually. And this, this article talked about how Batson's expanded. This one gave some ideas for the future of post Batson and so did this one. So I love secondary sources. They also point you in a great direction to find more cases that are on point. So if you're ever stuck in research, I recommend starting with the secondary source. But this is just what I've been doing for the past two hours. I'm going to take a break now because I'm honestly kind of researched out. And after my con law class, I have to research for my brief. So I'm doing a lot of research, but I actually like it. I kind of prefer it over normal classwork stuff. So not too mad. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to take a break for a little bit because I haven't taken a break. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. New, new day, same vlog. We're picking it up right where we left off. It's Wednesday today. I don't know why I keep saying that, but today I have quite a bit to get done. I have something I need to do for jobs at 1130. I have to actually go there. And then at one, I have this judge panel coming to speak to our legal writing class because we don't have organized class this week. So I have that at one. Other than that, my goals are to write a couple of pages in my crim paper. I need to continue researching for my brief. And then obviously I have readings for Thursday, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it because I, it's all like research and writing stuff, which is stuff I like doing, so it should be a good day. Ugh, oh my gosh. It's another, it's 70 degrees out again today, which is really nice. They have a matcha topped donut. I would not like that. Guys, I have been off of the donuts. Remember when I was a donut addict like a month ago? Yeah, I'm off of them now. I just, I haven't been in the mood for a donut in forever. I, I think I'm just sick of them. I think I ate too many. Ugh. I need to get my life together. I need to film this get ready with me that I've said I'm gonna film for the past like four days, but I just haven't done it. So maybe we'll do that today. All right, I'm back in the car. I don't think I filmed since I was in the car this morning, but I basically just got ready. I'm not wearing this by the way. Hold on, let me show you my outfit. I have these cute little loafers from H&M and then I have these pants that are from Target. I'm gonna throw this blouse on before I go in. This blouse is also from H&M, I wear it all the time. But it's just, it's like 70 degrees so I don't wanna put it on yet. So that's why we have the tank top dress pants combo right now, which is really cute. I'm gonna head out. I still haven't eaten breakfast so maybe I'll stop and get a breakfast sandwich. I don't know, we'll see. Still drinking my coffee. But I filmed this get ready with me for this makeup look and we talked about some juicy stuff law school finances job interviews so i will put a link in the description box and in the cards if you want to watch that so. we are quite crunched for time 
right now. I literally just got, just walked in the door. I have five minutes until I have this judge panel thing that we have to go to for my legal writing class. I'm just throwing on this button up from H&M so that I look semi put together. She didn't say anything about a dress code, but I feel like when there are judges somewhere, you should look a little put together. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten anything yet, but I won't have time until after this panel. So I will update you all after. Okay, everyone, don't mind me. It's 2.18, I just finished the panel with the judge and I finished editing the video I filmed this morning. It was actually really quick because it wasn't, it was a get ready with me, so didn't put a lot of edits on it. But then after I edit it, I just put it in this compressor. This makes it smaller, the file size, because with Final Cut Pro, it's more of a heavy duty editing software. So my files can get up to like 18 gigs. So this will compress it, make it a lot smaller. So it takes way less time to upload on YouTube. So I'm gonna wait for that. That'll probably take, look, I mean, it's been going for two minutes and it's barely anything. I'm assuming this video will probably take like 35, 40 minutes to compress and then I'll upload it, but for the next hour or so, I'm going to work on my crim law paper. So I have my outline right here. Like I said earlier, I kind of want to get the first couple sections of it drafted, so the intro and then this portion, and then we will see what we should do next. Okay, everyone, update. So it's five, so I've been working for almost three hours now. I've made some good progress, I will show you. First things first, I exported my video. I tried to upload it twice and it failed, so I'm gonna try again tonight, but YouTube stuff not going well. My crim paper is going pretty well. I will show you what I have. I'm anticipating this paper is going to be about 15 pages and the draft is due next Tuesday. So I have six days to work on it, but I'll say I feel pretty good. I got like almost a solid four pages done today. And then I was just going through and fixing my con law notes. So con law is my least favorite class. I thought I was going to like it a lot more than I do. I don't like it at all. So I dread updating my notes. I haven't updated my notes in over a week. I literally just updated, I still have one class left of notes to put in just cause I'm so tired and I hate doing it. It's the last class of the day. So I never update them. I just shut my laptop and give up, but I definitely need a break. So I'm gonna go get some dinner or something. And then I don't think I'm, I think I'm gonna copy down those notes and that's pretty much all the schoolwork I'm gonna be doing today. I have two readings to do for tomorrow, but I'm just gonna do it tomorrow, honestly, because I don't have class on Friday. So I kind of have a three day weekend, so. I can push those readings off till tomorrow and then work tomorrow night and then Friday and get all my stuff done. So let's go eat dinner because I'm hungry and I will update you in a little bit. excited i'm gonna eat this watch youtube and then go to civ pro woohoo it's a rainy day today everybody i'm going on an afternoon coffee run basically i got cold called in civ pro for the second week in a row which is strange but absolutely bizarre um was not expecting it to happen but it, it was okay it went okay i'm not mad about it but it just was unexpected then I had to read for my con law class because I, I have that and I'm on call. And we're reading really interesting cases. We're reading about executive power right now. So we're reading like Trump v. Hawaii, which are cases about the travel ban, which is just, it's crazy to read from a legal perspective. There are opinions that are really hard to get through because they feel very nonsensical. Con law is a very interesting class because it's hard to formulate rules because the rules really just depend on party lines. Lots of 5-4 decisions in con law. So it's a, it's a very, it's not my favorite class, but it is very interesting. Kind of sad, honestly especially when you're talking about real people and real lives rather than just like other things that they argue about in con law like milk sales across state lines and stuff um so i did that but it was an interesting reading but i'm glad it's done so i'm gonna go to duncan right now and get a coffee because tonight i do have some things to do i'm excited because i will be done with classes after 
this class. Okay, both of these are not mine, I swear. I promise, only one's for me. I know I would get two, it would be believable, but I promise, only one's for me. Now I have to go inside and I have 30 minutes free until con law, which is great, because I haven't had time to like sit and relax all day. So I'm just gonna sit, stare at the wall, and then have class. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So I had con law, I didn't get called on, Thank goodness. Then immediately after con law, I set a timer for an hour and I researched for my brief. And I actually feel a lot better about it. My presentation's on Monday. And last semester, I think I had it on Thursday, so I had like a whole extra week pretty much. But that's okay, because I feel a lot better about it. Now, I had dinner. I'm having my post-dinner chocolate. Guys, let me turn you on to some really good chocolate, okay? If you like dark chocolate. Now, here's the thing. I'm a psychopath, okay? This is 100%. <laughs> This is a hundred percent. This is unsweetened. This is completely bitter, but I love having a couple squares of this after dinner. I don't know what it is. It's so good. Pairing it with this one. This one is 88%. So this one has a little bit, I'm not going to say sweetness, but it's not as bitter. This is my favorite brand for chocolate. Endangered Species Chocolates partners with nonprofit wildlife and conservation organizations that are making a measurable and significant difference. So I love that. So this stuff is so good. It says it's strong, velvety, dark chocolate. It's so velvety. That's literally how I would describe it. So I just have like a couple squares of this every night. So this stuff is so good in the freezer. I've tried like three different kinds of chocolate from this brand and they're all super good. What's on the agenda for tonight? Watch Survivor. I'm watching season 18 token cheens. Really good. While I'm doing that, I'm going to finish the research for my crim paper and then tomorrow I'm gonna hopefully finish writing it and then I'm just relaxing because I don't have class tomorrow. I'm so excited about that. That's great. I already told myself because I don't have class tomorrow, I'm gonna stay up super late and um, sleep in tomorrow. I know that's not gonna happen, but it'd be nice if it did. So one can hope, right? I always stay up, I say I'm gonna stay up super late and I'm in bed by 10.30 and I'm up at like seven, so. Who knows, we will see. But I'm gonna watch Survivor, do some work, and I will update you in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is 7-11 right now. I told you guys, I went to bed at like 11 and I'm up right now. I have a lot of stuff to do today. So we're gonna make my coffee and we are going to get working on this crim draft. My goal is to finish writing it by around 9, 9.30, maybe 10, depending on how long it takes. And then tomorrow I can do citations and turn it in. So that's my first goal. Then I want to get organized, figure out what I need to do for next week, aka update my whiteboard. And then after that, I need to start organizing my stuff for my brief. I just have a lot to do today. So let's hope it's productive. I'm going to make my coffee and then we will get to work. Okay, everyone, it is 9.50. I just finished my draft. I finished it before 10, which is great. I still have to do sites for it and I'll edit it tomorrow and then I'm gonna turn it in. I don't know why I'm spending so much time editing a draft, but I'm gonna add my sites and my footnotes tomorrow. I need a break from it and then I will turn it in. So we'll have that in a few days early, which is nice. And now let's update the whiteboard. Okay, everyone, this is the to-do list for the week. Let me show you what it is. I would say I have a decently normal week next week, nothing crazy. I put finished writing draft under creme just so I had something to cross out because it makes me feel better. I think now, honestly, let's see. I think I'm gonna spend the next couple of hours doing some review. So I'm gonna watch the Barbary videos that I'm behind on on Civ Pro, and I'm gonna read a little bit in my con law supplement and update these two outlines just so I feel like I'm kind of on top of everything before I go into next week's readings. I'm not looking forward to this. Apparently this is an 80 page reading, which is insane. This is one of those weekends where I'm not likely to be able to take a full day off of law school just cause I'm too busy. But after around one or two today, I will take the rest of the day off and then I'll just work tomorrow and Sunday. So that's the plan. We're gonna get on some review. We're gonna start reviewing right now, doing some Civ Pro review and updating my outline and then we'll do some con law and things will be great. Update, it's 11.40. So I've been working pretty much all morning for about four hours. I feel pretty good. I didn't get a lot done on paper 
for my to-do list, but I, I feel a lot more organized now. Basically, I mentioned that my Conlo notes have been a mess, so I just took like an hour and a half. I just completely updated them, I completely reviewed them, and I feel so much better. Then I watched another Barbary video for Venue and updated my outline. So now all I have to do for my outline to be completely up to date is do Eerie Doctrine stuff, which I'm probably gonna do later this weekend. But overall, I feel a lot better with how my notes are organized and everything, so that was needed. That couple hours, even though I didn't get any readings, or anything super crazy done. I needed that couple hours just to organize myself and now I feel a lot better. So I think I'm gonna take a break now. I need to shower because I'm gonna get ready because I wanna look presentable today because it's Friday even though I don't have any big plans but I, I just wanna look nice. Okay everyone, I am hopping on to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Whoa, what is my hair doing? Weird. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. It means so much to me when you subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This very, I was watching with the footage, it's a very positive video. I feel like this is really good because I think the past couple of vlogs have been a little negative, just a little bit. So this one we were really positive and it was a really productive, happy week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.